teammates on the team. And it's, it's huge. Um, it's a blessing uh, to see these guys who've been here last year and years before, like Ojo, and just not be able to get it done and to see their excitement um, when we're watching it is crazy. Excitement for yourself? Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely, it definitely is a dream come true for me to be able to play in the NCAA tournament in my freshman year. Pretty cool for you guys to be able to play in Orlando and stay in Florida and mm-hmm. presumably have a lot of fans there. Yeah, so it's kind of is like a home game for us. John, what are some things that you're trying to prove, um, you know, for yourself and your play as the season kind of winds down to an end? You said prove? Yeah, prove. Uh, I mean, nothing about myself. Um, I think this team is a great team. Um, I think this team de- deserves to win. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Just as the regions were clicking down, when you guys saw you were out west, just what was the feeling and reaction? Say again? When you guys, as the regions were clicking down and then finally you guys knew that you were going out west, just what was the reaction? Uh, we were hoping um, that it was Orlando. You know, everybody was really excited to, to be able to play in Orlando. And that was, we were just excited. We knew we had a feeling at the end that it was going to be Orlando, and it was. Towards the you know, beginning of the season, you guys started 16 and, and 2. Towards the end of the season, I think you guys were 9-7 and seven, the last 16 games. What were some things that you guys kind of learned as the season came down to an end about yourselves that you need to improve on? Uh, it's just that we're not perfect. And, uh, you know, we have issues too as a team. And uh, we just got to continue to push forward and continue to work. Um, the beginning of the season, it was like, it was like a dream come true. Um, everybody was uh, playing such good basketball. And then now, you know, we've been tested. And I think we've been battle tested. I think it's prepared us for, for March Madness. Playing an in-state team in Gulf Coast to open it up. Florida's not in your region, but they're still playing in Orlando. How much fun do you think it's going to be to have all those in-state teams right oh, yeah. there? It's, it's going to be a crazy atmosphere. I know it's your first season with Leonard, but you know, what do you think this uh, this tournament trip kind of means to him uh, for being here so long? First trip in five years. What do you think that kind of means to him for Coach? I mean, I'm sure I'm sure it means a lot to him. Um, you know, he gets a lot of ridicule. Um, you know, about his style of coaching and, and the coach that he is. And I think this just proves people wrong um, that he's able to get it done this year. So a lot of ACC teams at high seeds. I think three or four of you were in the, in the top ten there. Do you think people appreciated the, sort of the grind that the ACC schedule was? And you think maybe now that the NCAA tournament's here, that people will appreciate it more? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, everybody wants to play in the ACC. Um, it is a grind. It's grueling. You know, you can get beat any night. And it's not a it's not a cakewalk at all. So I think really people do appreciate. I think the committee definitely appreciated about putting nine teams in. How much do you think that preparation is going to help you guys? Like I said, we're battle tested. You know, we've we've had great wins and bad losses. Um, you know, with this uh, conference, I think it's just made us better. I mean, you're not conference. You guys, it, Iona made the field, Winthrop made the field, Minnesota made the field. So it was a challenging non-conference schedule for you guys. Too. Oh yeah. Um, you know, we were able to get by those teams, but it wasn't easy. Um, so it was challenging for us. Um, and obviously, you know, every young basketball player dreams of, of playing you know, on the biggest stages. Did you, you know, grow up ever imagining yourself or thinking about what it'd be like to play in the NCAA tournament? Uh, not really. Um, growing up, I wasn't really much of a, a basketball fan. I didn't really think about college basketball that much. But I'm here, uh, and I'm blessed, and I'm grateful. First uh, two tournament games, I think you had 12 rebounds, 15 rebounds. What was, were, you're just being tenacious on the boards. What was kind of the motivation behind that? Uh, coaches have wanted me to uh, focus on getting offensive rebounds and focus on rebounding in a hole, so that was definitely a focus for me going into those games. I know the last couple of games, too, coach has been kind of playing you a little bit at the five, a little bit at the four. What would you see? Um, how, did, how did you play in, in, in that role in the four and five? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to adapt to whatever coach wants me to do. Um, teams are starting to play a lot smaller against us, trying to get our bigs out of the game. So. Um, you know, we've been playing smaller too, putting Phil at the five and me at the five as well. What do you think that kind of does for you guys on both ends? Um, it makes us faster. It makes us uh, tougher to guard. Um, you know, kind of got to pick your poison. Do you want to play with us big and put Ojo on the game and have him terrorize you? Or do you want to uh, go small and have us uh, run up and down the floor? John, just your 